Howdy! This is Lemmy with Revzilla. Welcome back to another two minute lesson. Today we're gonna be discussing cross plane cranks. Now, we really can't get too deeply into cross plane cranks at this point in time, I think, without discussing Yamaha. Yamaha is probably the most famous user of cross plane cranks. They've really championed that technology a little bit. And if you read Common Trade, you also know too that I uh, sort of take a, a little bit of liberty and kind of bust Yamaha's horns about their reference to their triple as a cross plane engine. When we talk about a cross plane crank, what we're really talking about is the crank pins on the crankshaft, their arrangement, whether or not they are in the same plane or not. So if we look at this crankshaft over here, you'll notice we have two crank pins located here, they're facing you, and then 180 degrees away from that, back here by me, is the other crank pin. Now those all exist, again, 180 degrees apart, they're on the same plane. Now if we look over here at this crank, you'll notice we've got a crank pin here, we've got one down here, and then back here up by me, we've got a third one. These exist on all different planes. So we have a cross plane crank versus a flat plane crank. Now on Yamaha's twin, the one they use in the FZ07, the one they use in the Super 10, the crank pins are actually 90 degrees apart from each other. They are truly a cross plane setup. So I have really no issue with them using the term cross plane two, that doesn't really bother me. Same thing on their four. Anybody who's listened to an R1 or an R1M screaming down the track knows those things make a very interesting noise. And that noise is largely attributable to the fact that they are using a cross plane engine in there. Again, the, the crank pins are set up 90 degrees apart from one another. Now, a couple of you guys are gonna say, well, what's the deal with the triple? Well, a triple, by definition, it almost has to have um, their crank pins spaced by 120 degrees. Now, some of you eagle-eyed observers are gonna be looking at this crank over here and say, well, then you've got a flat plane triple crank right there. And this is probably the one example in the world that is a flat plane triple. This is actually an old Laverta crank. And this is actually set up almost like a four cylinder is with one of the cylinders just lopped off. This is about the only triple in the world that we even are aware of that uses this kind of arrangement. Most triples are much more similar to this Kawasaki setup you can see over here. Again, with the crank pins spaced at 120 degrees apart. Just about every triple engine ever assembled has this setup on it. Now it's kind of expected, again, because that setup, the cross plane setup is the norm, it seems a little bit silly to call something a cross plane triple. Most people are just gonna assume that because that's the Derriger setup for this. So now you understand a little bit more about what a cross plane crank actually is, and you probably also understand too why I bust the tuning fork people's horns about their nomenclature for their triple engine. Make sure you check out some of our other two-minute lessons. I'm Lem. I'm out of here.